Hi there. This is the Queen G5 Folly in the Danish. White opens E4 and after E5, D4, black takes on D4. Another pawn is offered up C3 and after D takes C3, Bishop C4 offers up yet another pawn on B2. So black captures, C takes on B2 and after Bishop takes on B2, this is the Danish in which white is two pawns down but in return has two extremely dangerous and active bishops. Well, what happens if black tries this move, queen g5? What does it do? Queen g5 is immediately hitting the pawn on g2. Well, white will respond with knight f3, happily giving up that pawn on g2 and hitting the queen. So the queen, taking here on g2, will see rook g1. Now the rook comes into play and hits the queen on g2. After queen h3, the only place the queen can go to, then black is losing after this move. Rook takes on g7. And that basically refutes black's move on move 5, queen g5. So rook takes there on g7 and black here is struggling. If bishop takes on g7, then bishop takes on g7 is winning here for white as the bishop is also hitting the rook on h8. If white tries to be a little bit too flash and not take on g7, rather tries bishop takes f7, then it's actually black who should be winning in this position. Of course, black won't continue with king takes on f7 because of knight g5 check picking up the queen on h3 and after bishop takes on f7 king f8 i said is winning for black but if instead king to d8 then white will be winning after bishop takes bishop and now after knight h6 bishop f6 is checkmate so this has been the Queen G5 Folly in the Danish. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.